Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making this angel manipulation. So, the first thing we, we need to do is make um, open a new file. So go to file, new, and make the size of the canvas 1800 by 2160. Click OK. The first background is going to be the city right here. So just drag it and resize it to fit the canvas like this click OK right click on the layer and select rasterize layer next let's select this uh, spot healing brush let's get rid of the moon select the move tool and move this like this so next we're gonna desaturate this image by 75% so go to control G and on saturation just type minus 75 and click OK let's insert the next image that is gonna be the clouds and put it something like this click OK and we're going to add a layer mask to this layer we're gonna select the gradient tool the linear gradient and we're going to make a line from the bottom to somewhere in the middle something like this so next we're going to desaturate this image by 100 you can do it some different ways control shift u or just go with control u and desaturate it all the way to the left or with the adjustments so we're going to desaturate it by pressing control shift u but first I'm going to rasterize this layer to be able to do that. So right click and rasterize layer, then control shift U and we have to saturate this image. So next I'm going to use some levels adjustments on the clouds. So I'm just gonna go to adjustments, levels. I'm gonna put it as a clipping mask, clicking this icon right here at the bottom, and I'm just gonna type 49 on this first um, square so the next step is to insert that the woman so I'm just gonna go to the woman woman and drag it to the canvas Make sure you put it in the in the middle of the canvas and the size not too small and not too big. You can play around and see how it looks better. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna desaturate the woman by 25 so I'm just gonna click control G I'm gonna go to the adjustments so click adjustments here in saturation and I'm gonna type minus 25 so next I'm gonna click on the levels layer and I'm gonna make a new layer so click on the levels layer and click on create a new layer to make a new layer and we're gonna name this layer glow so we're gonna add s some glow outside or on the woman so just get the brush tool soft brush 
color white and the size around 150 or 120 125 and just paint outside the woman and we're gonna blur that with let's see how much go to filter blur Gaussian blur and and let's put 40 pixels click ok change the blend mode to soft light and like you can see we have outer glow on the woman So next click on the top layer and make a new layer and let's name this layer feathers we're going to select uh, the brush tool and we're going to select some feathers I'm going to select the first one right here you can select any of these feathers and the link to these feathers is going to be on the description so you can download it so I'm just going to select this one right here the first one, the 2399 and the size around 200 so next I'm going to go to the brush settings and I'm going to move the spacing around 1000 next I'm gonna go to shape dynamics size jitter to 100 and angle jitter to 42 click on scattering and the options is gonna be 1000, 2 and 100 and so we're gonna paint some brushes not too much and not too little so just make sure to paint some feathers I'm gonna leave it like that and next I'm going to blur these feathers by one pixel or one and a half so go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and I'm going to put 1.5 click OK let's make a new layer uh, I'm going to name this layer Portex and I'm going to select a vortex or circle brush that I have right here is gonna be the 2447 this one right here I'm gonna resize the size I'm going I'm gonna paint and I'm going to transform that to fit the canvas so I'm just gonna move it up I'm gonna drag the one the side points and the lower one the lower point I'm gonna move it up to have this look next I'm going to right click it and choose perspective I'm gonna get a top point and I'm gonna open that I wanna right click it and free transform and I'm gonna move this up a little bit I think that looks good I'm gonna click OK I'm going to blur that with 5 pixels or 4 so go to blur, Gaussian blur 
and I'm going to type 4 and see how it looks I think it looks good so I'm just gonna leave it on 4 and click OK next I'm going to duplicate that layer Control J and I'm going to go to filter blur motion blur angle minus 90 and distance 120 click OK I'm gonna move this like this I'm gonna press ctrl T to, trans to transform and make it bigger click OK Control J to duplicate and move it. Control T to transform. I'm gonna get the eraser tool and erase this hard edge that we see right here. So we're gonna end it up with something like this. So next we're gonna insert another image, this one right here. We're gonna f uh, resize it. Just uh, we're gonna expand span this to the bottom and to the top. Click OK and change the blend mode to overlay the opacity around 50 and next we're gonna add a gradient map so go to adjustment gradient map and select one color that has three points I'm gonna select the last one and I'm gonna choose this first one to change the color and the color is gonna be 85 11 96 click ok and the uh, middle one it's gonna be 2 f 1 4 6 6 click ok and the last one 1 7 3 f 91 click ok and ok we're gonna change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity around 50 so now we're gonna make a stamp Control shift alt e and we're gonna add more blue to this image by going image adjustment variation and we're gonna click on the more blue option click ok change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity around 30 percent 30 or 40 is up to you I'm gonna put 35 I'm gonna make another stamp I'm gonna go to filter Sharpen and unsharp mask, and the uh, numbers is gonna be 85, 1, and 4. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna make another stamp, and this time we're going to add some lightning effect. Go to filter, render, lightning effect, and make sure you have your lightning effect as same as mine so you can make this circle wider by putting your mouse on these points and you can see the scale width so click there and you can move it down or up and you can make this circle wider or narrower, narrower or whatever you say there
you can do the same thing with these points move it left or right to make it big or small and this one the a small circle you can do the same by putting your mouse uh, at the bottom you can see the hotspot angle you can make this bigger or small and on the sides so just make sure the lightning or the light of this it's lining the so make sure the light is lining the woman's feet so like right here I cannot see the feet so I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna open this a little bit more So make sure you have something like this and after you're done with this click OK and change the blend mode to soft light. The opacity around 40 or 50 is up to you. I'm going to put it to 40. So that you can see the lightning effect makes a lot of difference. So let's unclick this and see how it looks without it. So that's without the lining effect and this is with the lining effect. So you can decide if you want to use the lining effect or not. It's up to you but I think it looks better with the lining effect. So this is all for today guys. I hope you like this tutorial, these manipulations. And if you have any, co any comments don't forget to put it on the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't, like this video if you like it, and share with your friends. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.